You're watching a Playing With Art show, and my name is Curtis. Today I'm going to show you how I made this sculptural shape out of cardboard and magazine clippings. I started the project out by doodling out some shapes. I drew about 20 before I found one that I liked, and then I actually turned that one upside down. I then redrew the shape larger on a piece of cardboard and cut that out. The outside I think I cut with scissors, but the inside circle I cut using a box cutter. I then trace that shape onto the cardboard again to cut out a second piece. I cut out a series of strips of cardboard using the width of the ruler as a guide to make sure they were all the same height. And I was careful to do the cut along the opposite direction of the corrugation so that when you look at the side of the strip, you see the waves of the corrugation because I'm gonna curl these around and that makes it easier for the cardboard to bend. I then coiled the strip around into a circle and glued the end and sealed it as one loop of cardboard. I then put a thin layer of glue on the edges and the key thing is to have a really thin layer. So I put a bead of glue on and then thin it out with either with a piece of cardboard or my finger to make sure it's really thin and that way it'll bond and dry really quickly. I then glued this down onto the base shape. I created another coil for the top part. I then added a thin layer of glue to all the edges and then put the top part of the sculpture on top in line with the base piece. After putting that together, I found it still needed a little bit more structure, so I added a couple more small coils to the sides and just slid those in and glued those in place and pressed it down to hold it. For the sides, I used grocery bag paper and I tore those into sections first and then cut those further down into strips of paper. And I find it's better when you tear these pieces instead of cutting with a scissors because the torn edges bond with each other when you put it on the sculpture. I used a solution of about two-thirds white glue and one-third water to brush onto the strips to glue them in place. I brushed both sides of the strip to make sure that it was really saturated and it also softens the paper so it's easier to bend. I also brushed the solution onto the sides of the sculpture where I was going to put the strips of paper. As I added each strip of paper, I overlapped with the previous one to create a continuous surface. The tightly curved areas are the most difficult. I went back in and added a little bit more glue to try to get it to seat down, but then found I needed to just add more strips of paper on top of that to pull it together. After adding all the strips of paper, I let it dry for about an hour to make sure it was nice and firm before going to the next step. For the surface, I used clippings from magazines, and for this particular project, I focused on images that were very textural or architectural. I glued those down onto the surface using a solution of Mod Podge and a little bit of water. Once the decoupage layer was all done, I let it dry for a little while before I added two finishing coats of additional Mod Podge, and in this project I used matte finish Mod Podge. 